Our first interaction is with the dagger you see on screen now. The extra crit damage that this applies can be applied to other weapons including your bow or main hand weapon as well. You can obtain this by becoming a ball chosen and buying it from the vendor or by simply looting it from the NPC you see on screen now during the murder tribunal quest chain. Up next for all those paladin lovers, did you know the extra crit damage that you have for being an orc is applied to divine smite? making Divine Smite extremely potent as an orc and arguably the best race. The Drake Throat Glaive that you can buy from Roa Moonglow in Moonrise Towers can be applied to have its effect on other weapons, but did you know as a sorcerer you can twin casting it giving two other allies the ability to have plus one damage and hit chance and additional 1d4 of your chosen element. Do you like super powered cantrips? By combining the power of the Draconic Sorcerer in combination with the chest piece and necklace on screen now, you can have the option to give yourself plus 15 additional damage for your chosen element cantrip. This is especially useful if you make the enemy wet and decide to go lightning or cold based magic. Do you want a healer that can apply Bladeboard and Bless from healing others? By using the items you see on screen now obtained in Act 1, you can do that. It gets even better in Act 3 when you upgrade the gloves, and if you want a character that had the same effect automatically applied at the start of combat, you can instead use the Ring of Regeneration in combination with these items, along with Broodmother's Revenge and also have additional poison damage on their weapons. Going back to Paladins, did you know if you set Divine Smite as a reaction, you can trigger multiple Divine Smites even while dual wielding? Did you know as a monk that is multi-class with rogue, you can automatically apply sneak attack damage with flurry of blows as long as you have it as a reaction? Do you want to add blinding effects to every single turn with a rogue? By using your disengage in the cloak you see on screen now, you can put fog clouds everywhere. Combine that with the blind immunity ring and you are set to really ambush your enemies. And my final tip and trick for the video, for those who like being stealthy, utilizing Pass Without a Trace in combination of Greater Invisibility will allow you to have a stealthy character who can legit continue to attack and never be seen.